this occasion series of YouTube tutorials. Today we will be looking at a chi squared regression for categorical variables and this was taken from a January 2016 exam. So you, the production manager was wondering <coughs> did the different shifts produce different types of products? So she selected 496 tires, randomly selected them and then perfect satisfactory and defective. So we're wondering, is there any sort of link between perfect satisfactory, they're effective, and shift one, shift two, shift three? So I put all of that into a spreadsheet. Just there, and then you would be expected to, there's the observed values, you'll be expected to calculate the expected. So if you just take the first one slowly, so that is to get 231 by 210, all divided by 496. How do you get that, lad? The expected for shift two, perfect. It would be 153 um, by 210 divided by 496. Take another one at random. That's defect of shift 3. That's 112 by 5 divided by 496, etc., etc., etc. You do all of that and you get the expected values. You then have to get the chi squared value, which is the observed minus the expected to be squared all over the expected. So if you're doing that in your calculator, that would be 106 minus 97.8024 square that answer and divide that by 97.8024 etc just see it there in excel so c17 minus c15 all to be squared divided by the expected c15 do that for the nine tot them all up and when you tot them all up you get 8.6467 the degrees of freedom is the number of rows minus one by the number of columns minus one. Row one, row two, row three, column one, column two, column three. Three minus one is two, three minus one is two, two by two is four. Go off to your choice card. You look up the alpha one hour here. Five percent, four degrees of freedom, 9.488. Page naught, what's your null hypothesis? As always, there's no association, no linkage between the groups. Everything is totally random. And HA, there's some outside force of work. There is some link, there is some association between the groups. Conclusion, since the chi squared value, that's that lad there, 8.6467, is less than the critical value, 9.488. There, uh, we have no reason to reject HO. So, in other words, we're saying there's no outside force between on the uh, the perfect tire, the satisfactory tire, and the defective tire. It's just totally random. Okay, so hope that helps a little. Thanks very much for listening.